Hey, together, Aaron the Black Dragon's back. And first off, sorry that it sounds a bit echoey. I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm in the middle of uh, repainting my room and I got new windows and everything. So there is now nothing in the room I'm recording in, so it may sound a little bit silent. And also, welcome back to part 19 whoops, of Fragile Dreams. So... There's a thing lying around, and this is blocked off. Then the last episode we heard about the little Ari and her brother. What is this? It's a cat tail, a cat toy. Okay, and there is a kitty cat. Hey, it's that cat from before. What's it doing here? He's looking at us. Cute little guy. Let's see if I can get him to come here. Lure the cat to you. Well, don't mind if I do so. Cats don't like sudden movements or being chased. When you come across one, running toward it won't do you any good. Instead, wait patiently and it will approach you. Deep down, cats want to befriend you. Oops. Whoops. Okay, and what do I have to do now? Ha! Well, punching the cat is obviously the wrong uh, decision. Let's equip this. Item has been equipped. Kitty cat. Do I have to crouch for that? Okay, it seems like I had to crouch for it. The cat polished off the food. What food? Okay. And it runs away. Well, okay, let's... Equip our mallet again, because I don't think that with a cat toy we can defend ourselves good enough against monsters. Also, it seems like there's nothing more interesting in here, so... That looked like a holding cell. That's a lot of cats. Totally honest. <laughs> Where did you run off to? You had me worried. You know it's dangerous to wander off too far. <sighs> you. I know you. The boy who touched me. It sounds wrong. Uh, it wasn't like that. I only meant to... <laughs> <laughs> I know you're not a bad person. I can tell. Because he likes you. That's a relief. And hey, I'm sorry. About before. Your name? Huh? Your name? Please? Oh. My name. I I'm a... My name is Seto. Seto? Yeah. That's a short name. Seto. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, what about you? What's Glass your... Glass cage will commence shortly. What's he... Shin? Return at once. Excuse me? Find the silver heart girl. Still? I mean, we found her. I'm... Yeah. I'm pretty sure we can open that. Um, glass cage. Commands at once. Oh, return at once. Something like that. I already forgot. But glass cage. Whatever that may mean, we have to find out now. And we still have to find the silver hurt girl. What I'm more interested in, don't spasm out behind me please, is to find out who 
he was... I already forgot his name because I'm bad with names. That looks not so good for me. <clears throat> but there's a fireplace and I will gladly take that. Uh, am I starting to talk to myself? For sure, my friend, you do. But hey! Fancy meeting you here! A splendid surprise! Down in the sewers? I'm pretty sure it is. Let's see, what can you offer? Uh, vitamins. What do those do? Are they just healy? They are just healy. You have that thing. What I never can. Well, I think I don't have anything to sell, so thanks for coming have by. A nice hey, day. thanks. So, I equipped a bit around because this looks like we're gonna have a big freaking fight or something like this, and I wanted to be prepared for it because you see, oh, it's just those things. Can I take it? No, I can't. But whatever. There are lots of them down there. At least two I saw. Probably three or more. I just guess that I have to go on the other side. But, hi. I'm willing to go that way first. To find out if there is anything. I mean, there are mysterious, mystery items. And if there are any memories, I want to have them. So, let set up, please. Well, there is actually really a lot of them down there. Well, whatever. Um, okay, and over there is nothing. So, well, let's see what this painting is. Maybe it, we can read it. And if we can't, well, we can't. What does it say? Go, humans, go. Encouraging. Okay, let's go back. Okay, it's enough. I know I can't take that. Okay, um, we found one mystery item that looks like a memory. So... We're gonna check that one out. If it is a memory, we're gonna have something to read or listen to, uh, more or less. This is so soothing. Yes, it is, Seto. Now, please tell me what we have. Hey, could this be? What could it be? An energy drink. Oh, it's just an. Okay, it's just a health item. Well, stupid me. Ah, we meet again. It is such, such a, wonderful a wonderful day. day. He's creepy, but I like him. Okay, well then, looks like this is our way to go, through the disgusting sewage. Also, we have some enemies to defeat. Bam! Yeah, I saw three and there are three. That's not as good though. No, you don't. Ouch, you freaking prick. No, you don't. Ouch! Whoa. Come on, double L. That's not fair. Freaking A. It's time to hit you in your freaking face. Punch. The other one was behind here. God damn you. Ow. I wonder if she's going to be all alone now. You didn't see anything. And I never did anything. I hate these freaking things. See when you kill every single one of them. Go like to the loading screen, god damn it. God damn it! 
Okay, as you can see, I chose to not do anything to them because I freaking hate those things. And three of them are rather annoying, I wanna say. So, fuck them. But not like in the good way, just fuck them. Fuck them hard. Like in the, I want to see those assholes dead. I don't freaking care about you. Next thing is I'm now up here. And checking out if here is anything, but I think I have to go down this way. Also, it seems like I can go up there, but I don't know if this will do me any good. There's nothing and I can't fall down here. Okay. Uh, can I climb up this? Yes, I can. So maybe there is something up on this ledge. That's interesting. Yep, there's something. God damn it. I don't like this place. I don't like those enemies. Um, I don't have too many items. I can organize that. Because when I pull you down, push this one here and put you here. I can take it. Thanks. Is there something else? No. <sighs> okay, guys. My dearest friends of all of them. We're gonna go back to the campfire now and see what is in this mysterious uh, mystery items. And then I'm gonna meet you at the ladder on the other side of this fi thing. I'm not gonna let you watch uh, through this whole... I'm gonna dodge all of the attacks and walking down the damn frame right downing that I have to work with while I'm doing this. So... Yet this part is rather annoying. Let's go down this set though. Okay, let's see what we have this time. Oh, I better warm yes, up. you please do. Hey, could this be? Oh, just money. Another energy drink, god damn it. I wanna have memories. Okay guys, I'm nearly to the leather. Let's see. Whew. I just came about without being interrupted by anything. I don't know how long this episode actually is going to be. Because there's a lot of cutting around this time and I don't know. But we're gonna go up the ladder, see what new things await us up there. And I think when we find uh, another fireplace, we're gonna end it at this place then. But first, let's see. There is a fireplace. Hi, nice to get out between your legs there. Well, I'm pretty sure the episode's not long enough if I'm just gonna end it right now. Okay. Uh, am I starting to talk to myself? We already went over the set. Yes, you are. So I managed to get out to he up here, so let's save this whole stupid thing. And again, I wanna say we didn't really do much because we just went down here, and that's about it. Let's do this. Well, that thing we're gonna do for today. I know we didn't do much, but we're gonna check out this area up here. And then we're gonna finish up this episode. Because. Um. Oh, god damn it, birds. If you were bats, I would understand it, but you're just simply birds down here. That's not normal. I mean, really, get the grasp of real life. That's. Just stupid. Just making fun, by the way, for everyone who couldn't tell. Oof. Let's see. I hope this way somewhat brings it home and gives me a memory at least. Something. No memories this time. There was so much. Didn't get one memory. A little bit annoyed because of that. Also, the, uh, the screen is flickering so much this time, it's a bit annoying. And yep, there is something. It's again flickering. Mystery item, come on, this can't be something. I'm gonna meet you back at the uh, campfire when we figure out what this is. Whew, I don't want to say anything, but this was annoyingly long. 
Is this? Maybe this something. Bluebell Fleur. Oh, another one. I just don't get the boss these days. Behind the mill, I heard two men talking. They wore matching white uniforms, smeared with soot, while smoke seeped from the mouths on their young faces. I snuck up to where their shadows touched the earth and eavesdropped from behind a pole. You missed the deadline again. And he smacked me just yesterday. Said I let the ashtray fall. <sighs> if he didn't dog us like that, he wouldn't have anything else to do. <laughs> he said all we do anyways is smoke cigarettes. I just don't get him. Boy, you said it. There was the banging sound of a mallet. Word had it this mill was built by the skilled but eccentric foreman. He'd since taken on two assistants to make furniture around the clock. But the two men just idled their days away, breathing out an endless stream of white smoke. It must be you-know-what. Wouldn't be surprised. Ask him. You idiot, he'll do more than just box your ears if you do. I wouldn't complain even if he ran me through the sander alive. Ugh. Just can't win with him. Boy, I'll say. And with that, they let out white sighs. It's seriously been a month since Fleur went missing? Huh, I guess she's not coming back. She probably finally had it with that barbarian. But I'm gonna miss how one look at her kisser and the boss's mood and do a 180. That was as far as I overheard. Stealthily, I did an about face and skirted the wall of the mill. From my neck now dangled a blue bell, the symbol of this mill. Today, I had come to be the boss's fleur. Approaching the window, a loud voice boomed from inside. I told you it's just not possible! You're not making any sense, you dimwit! The sound of the receiver slamming down was coupled with wood being shaved. My ears stood on end, and trembles racked my body. The words run through the sander alive, danced in my head. No doubt it had hurt like mad. I imagined it, looking down at the blue bell. Does it hurt more than death? Not having experienced either, I didn't know. But dying probably hurt more. At that thought, the trembling stopped. It must have hurt Fleur a lot. I can't do this anymore! This time, a piece of furniture flew out the window. Things were taking a turn for the worse. I couldn't control my shivers. And the blue bell let out a ring. The boss turned his wrinkled brown face in my direction and scowled. I thought he'd look right through me with his muddy gray eyes. I didn't have the beautiful body of Fleur at all. I was terrified he'd say I wasn't his lovely Fleur and would run me through the sander right then and there. He suddenly swung his hand high. The palm of his weathered old hand was blistered, the skin like bark. I was sure he'd strike me, but instead his hand came up to cup my face. His rough and powerful hand stroked my head so softly. You scrawny little thing. His gruff voice was more like a groan. The way it trembled struck my heart. Didn't he doubt me? Didn't he see right through me? Should I really let him continue stroking my head like this? I was speechless as he took me in his arms effortlessly. Boys, get in here, he yelled behind the mill. Quit your grumbling and get back to work. If you don't want me to wax your heads, then polish me some new wood and step on it. 
Despite being yelled at, the two men had twinkles in their eyes. Boss is Fleur. He's, He's back! They hollered, hands in the air. Unable to speak, the blue bell spoke for me with a tinkle. At that moment, I had won over her name. I am Fleur. Fleur with her blue bell, petted by a hard-headed boss. I am a furniture maker's beloved daughter. Very interesting. So as far as I gather all of this together, um, the stories that we always hear, hello, you're kind of annoying right ah, now because I want to explain something. The pleasure is mine. Thanks, can you please go now? So as far as I can well, uh, this see this, goodbye. the stories that we always hear uh, include a boy or a girl, in that case it was, and Bells. In the last one it was a red bell, this time it was a blue bell, and they always seem to not recognize the person as the real person, but as the person this bell wants um, belong to. So I'd say maybe we got one more. As I know, red, blue, maybe we got a green book too, or a yellow book. Um, b or a yellow bell more that way, but I'm pretty sure we can find out who this person really was or who that boy really was. Maybe in the next episode, I don't know, maybe it will take us a little bit more, but it's re really intriguing and interesting. So I hope you guys enjoy this and wander with me, unless you already know anything, then just let me run into something completely stupid and different that doesn't make any sense and is still funny for you. But whatsoever, I'm gonna figure this out, probably or not probably, in the next episode of Fragile Dreams. So I hope you guys join me, if, and if you like this episode, please leave a comment down below. I really would appreciate that, and I hope to see all of you to the next part of Fragile Dreams. So bye!